Soon, he learns it isn't a human ship but an alien spaceship. And the aliens emerge from it and attack him. As a result, he faints. His team saves him at the right time. Later, we see a girl named Missy who was having breakfast with her dad. His dad learns about the superhero in news and becomes worried as a result. From their conversation, we learn that her dad is also a superhero. Currently, they are leading a normal life. After watching this news, her dad decides to go to the superhero head office. After going there, he meets the head of the superhero office. She tells him the entire story, along with how aliens attack the planet. Only superheroes can save the world from aliens. Missy's dad remembers the promise he had taken to his daughter. That I'll never work with a team of superheroes. But now it is about saving the world so, he breaks the promise. After wearing a superhero costume, he gets ready. Later, Missy is seen at the school, the superhero team takes her to the head office. She meets the head after going to the head office and she informs her that all the children of superheroes will live in the head office until the fight is over. As a result, their parents become assured that their children are safe and they can fight without any tension. Later, Missy enters a room and meets the children of the other superheroes. There was a mature child there, and there was a boy whose body was flexible. It means he could pull his body length. There is a girl who cannot speak, but she can try to communicate through art. There is a singer girl who can rotate things by singing a song. There was a young child who was quite slow and lazy. Additionally, there were two twin siblings who can forward and reverse the time. There was a facemaker boy who can make anyone's face. Later, we see a powerful boy who has numerous powers, but can't control his powers. There was a young and cute little girl who can control water. After seeing these children's superpowers, Missy feels herself an ordinary child, because she doesn't have any power. Later, it is shown on the TV that how their parents are fighting with aliens. They approach the spaceship and see that aliens are emerging from there. They're trying to grab there, superheroes try to save themselves. But the aliens were dominating them. Later, we see Missy's father who was also trying to save himself from aliens. But the aliens capture him and take him into their spaceship. And they break the cameras as well. Seeing their parents being defeated, the children become upset. Because their parents were the last hope to save the world. The American president addresses the people and tells them that the aliens have threatened them if we make an effort to be clever. They'll destroy the world and will occupy the world. On the TV, the head tells the children don't try to go out from there. Because there is a great danger outside and you're safe here. Later, Missy tells everyone by showing the drawing of that sketch maker girl. The aliens are approaching us to attack us. Actually, these drawings were showing the future what next is going to happen. According to the drawing, they should have an exit from there. Before the aliens attack them, the children, after making a plan, shout and call the guards inside. After the arrival of guards, a young girl tosses him down. She throws the other guard far away. The flexible child, by pulling his body, stops the guards and takes their cards. Guards manage to ring the alarm. As the alarm rings, all the doors begin to close. The aliens arrive meanwhile and grab the powerful boy. Missy asks the time-changing girl to reverse the time. After the time reverses, when the guard was about to ring the alarm, the boy in the wheelchair stops him. Later, all the children run from there after tying up the guards. Missy pushes the head while running and the head asks to shut the doors. As the doors close, the guards come near the children. Missy asks the singer girl to sing a song. As she does this, the guards begin to fly into the sky. The guards are attached to one another like stairs. The children depart from the upper doors after climbing them. 
Later, as the children board a bus, and the guards arrive there too. The girl starts singing again as she flies the bus into the air. By pulling his body, the flexible child rides the bus to a different place. The children arrive at a place where they can save themselves from the people of the head office. Arriving there, the children learn this is Missy's grandmother's house. The grandmother informs them all that they're children of superheroes. For this purpose, they've to fix everything by saving all. You've to work together for this reason and have to control your powers. Making Missy their leader, the grandmother tells them that Missy will teach everything to them all. Saying this, she takes everyone to the ground. She also teaches them to control their powers. Along with this, she trains them well. As Missy was considering herself an ordinary girl, so she was afraid. Being a leader, she was training everyone. We see superheroes who were fighting each other like kids. Meanwhile, the president addresses them with a camera and tells them that all the children from the head office are missing, they become upset to know this. On the other side, Missy was sitting upset alone. And grandmother tells her after approaching her that I've trained many superheroes and taught them. Your mother was the best superhero. For this reason, your father becomes a good superhero, so, if you're ordinary and normal, you're an example like your mother. Meanwhile, a child arrives and takes them. Because the people of the head office have arrived there while finding them. Later, the grandmother sends all the children out of a way. Meanwhile, an alien arrives and injures the grandmother. Missy informs everyone that we need to reach the alien spaceship because we can destroy them after going there. According to the plan, they board the alien spaceship. Meanwhile, they observe their lazy friend has been left behind. In addition to this, the aliens have seen them and are moving there to attack them. The flexible child pulls the lazy friend inside and closes the ship's door. After going inside, the children move ahead with a device given by the grandmother. So, they can reach their parents, meanwhile aliens begin to attack them by cracking the floor. The children run toward a door to save their life. The aliens begin to stop them there as well. The singer girl stops the aliens with her song and they go in that door after this. The children see a mountain and the president was also there. The children learn here that the president is responsible for this all. This mountain finally lands on Earth in an hour, it will destroy everything. The head tells the children after approaching them that you've put your life at risk. But because of you, the superhero, your parents have reached the spaceship. In this way, you've tried to save the world by helping the superheroes. The children were getting happy but the boy in the wheelchair tells them. Do not trust this head because her people are encircled on all sides. After examining the drawing, the sketch maker girl confirms that it is accurate. As the head is an alien as well, and the president arrives there. After taking on their alien form, they capture all the children. Later, we see superheroes who were approached by an alien covered in a cloth who attack them. Even if they counterattack him, they couldn't control the alien. It reveals that this alien is no one else but the granny. She rebukes them that you've not learned anything, so you can't fight well. But I'm sure that your children might have learned better and have been acting well. On the other side, the children learn that the aliens haven't attacked them suddenly. They were chasing them for many years in the form of the head and the president. After imprisoning the superhero, they intend to take over the Earth. Here, Missy has an idea, and she makes all the children cry. The water-controlling child uses their tears to create a key. After they use it, everyone goes outside. The powerful boy says that he'll free everyone after taking the face-maker girl. But the powerful boy and face-maker girl have a fight between them. They separate for this reason, and the head was watching this all. While getting happy, she says this is what we wanted. 
because she knows that he doesn't have any control over his powers. For this reason, he can be useful to us. We see the rest of the children who are being attacked by the guards. Missy asks them to fight together and they begin to fight with the guards after being united. For this reason, all the children use their superpowers. Meanwhile, all the guards transform into aliens and capture the children. On the other side, the head captures the powerful boy. The twin siblings reverse the time by using their powers. And the flexible boy ties up the hands of the guards after pulling his hands. After seeing this, their parents become quite happy. They begin to feel proud of their children. When the children reach the mountain, they learn that this mountain is protected by an invisible power. Later, the sketchmaker girl claims, I created this power. Hearing this, Missy becomes shocked that why you've made this power. I'm the leader and we had to work together as a team. The sketchmaker girl asks if that is the case, where is the strong boy? Later, the head learns that the child sitting in front of her isn't the strongest one but the face maker. He is sitting in front of her after drawing the face of the strongest boy. Notices this, the head rags and she begins to tail take her friends into the control room. However, the strongest boy seated there has already begun his task. The sketchmaker girl asks Missy, Since when the other boys and the strongest boy start to follow you as the leader? Later, Missy tells her that I've told him that you're not from us. But a spy of aliens and he began to consider me his leader. Hearing this, the girl transforms into her real appearance of an alien. Missy tells her that I've realized that you're an alien after seeing one of your drawings. On which the sketchmaker girl tells her yes, I'm the leader of aliens. On the other hand, the powerful boy removes the invisible power from the mountain. Meanwhile, the drawing maker girl pushes him away after making a dragon. Missy begins to stop him along with the other kids. On the other side, the head approaches the powerful boy who tells her. Now I don't have any fear because I begin to believe in myself because of Missy. Now, I can defeat anyone. On the other side, the twin siblings start to swift the lazy boy and fight the monster. The powerful boy defeats all the people of the head after using his powers. And he imprisons the head. Upon the teaching of Missy, the water-controlling girl makes many weapons from the water. The others also help her, and they defeat the monster in a while. Here, the water ends, and the water-controlling girl can't make any more weapons. Meanwhile, the wheelchair boy tells her that this mountain is made up of water. So, you can use it. Later, that girl makes a shark with water. After being seated on it, they attack the other monster. Later, the sketchmaker girl makes many monsters and emerges these pictures from the pictures. The flexible boy stretches his arm and Missy comes in the middle after being sat on it. The monsters try to catch her but the boy flips back his hand. As a result, the mounter falls down. Missy was about to fall, but the flexible boy stretches his hand and grabs her, seeing this, the sketchmaker girl throws the mountain's remote down. But the lazy kid grabs it. The powerful boy uses his power and both children climb up after taking the remote. Before the time, the flexible kid puts the remote in the mountain. Later, the mountain opens, all the superheroes emerge. Seeing this, Missy gets shocked to think that what is happening here. In a while, the president, the head, and the face-maker girl arrive. They reveal that this all was our plan. The sketchmaker girl says I've done this also, you can...